What's your prediction for Saturday night against Mark Maxayo? Eh, ganar por knockout. Win by knockout. Whoa, he's... Meanwhile... ...there since about the third round. Big right hand. Down goes Seha! And Mark Maxayo has... Yo, magandang araw mga idol. Isa sa mga pangarap noon ng tubong tagbilaran City Bohol na si Mark Magnifico Magsayo ay ang mapabilang sa MP promotion dahil ang kanyang idolo na si 8 Division World Champion Manny Pacquiao ang isa sa mga namumuno sa MP promotion. Bitbit ang undefeated record mula noong 2013 ay hindi pa natatalo si Mark Magsayo. Kaya naman matapos ang dalawang sunod na panalo sa Amerika sa kamay ng batikang coach na si Freddy Roach ay natupad ang minimiting pangarap ni Magsayo at ito nga ay ang mapalaban sa undercard fight ni 8 Division World Champion Manny Pacquiao Dito ay babanggay ni Magsayo ang isang tigasin at knockout artist ng bansang Mexico na si Julio Ceja naging WBC Pekerbox Super Flyweight WBC Pekerbox Bantamweight at WBC Silver Bantamweight Champion si Ceja dala ang magandang record na 32 wins with 28 knockout at 75 percentage knockout ay kumpiyansa ang Mexicano na kaya niya daw in ang Pinoy undefeated. Eh, ganar por knockout. Win by knockout. Whoa, he's predicting a knockout victory over Mark Maxayo. Taong 2013 nang unang lumaban si Seha sa isang world title kontra kay Jamie McDonnell. Subalit na talo ito by a majority decision. Taong 2015 nang maging world champion si Julio Seha nang talunin niya ang kapwa Mexicanong si Hugo Ruiz baya technical na sa round 5 matapos ang masakit na pagkatalo kay Brandon Figueroa noong 2019 at mabakante ng halos dalawang taon ay muling nabigyan ng pagkakataon ng Meksikano na muling mapalaban bagamat na ang title fight ang mananalo naman dito ay mabibigyan ng pagkakataon na mapalaban sa isang world title kaya naman ganoon na lamang ang kagustuhan ng Meksikano na matalo ang ating kababayan to Brandon Figueroa Maxayo and Pino contingency here with big left hook on the canvas Maxayo showcasing his power and his hand speed and he is overwhelmed old 28 because it turned out his lights in the into quote unquote and was the visibly bigger because he knows how dangerous been in a way been hit many times before he's been dropped was dropped and finished off by Hugo of right that you went to my head and my body nobody saw that except <laughs> you and me Brian. all right I know, it's a linger shot look at this combination a little five punch action from Mexico as well say how would love to make this a fight in a phone booth and oh. it's on the side of the liver which really does the damage good uppercut that landed by Seha that picked up the head effect sleep from the nose maybe he's sucking in a little more air well, he's got him on the run right now there's something wrong with that sale he'll fight back but say has got him on the run with those body shots tries to protect his body as well as boy this is this is you, know, what, you saw what canelo did to rocky fielding a nice combination that. from that, that, that's a bad yeah. shot right there that livers my body nobody saw that <laughs> except you and me Brian. all right i know it's a linger shot look at this combination a little five punch action from maxile he'll bump you off of them you know he's really good at using his body pull to the bleed from the nose maybe he's sucking in a little more air well, he's got him on the run right now there's something wrong with that sale he'll fight back but say has got him on the run with those body shots tries to protect his body as well he's got both as a, as a defensive mechanism does it there too lands with a hook blocked one shot lands as well say how would love to make this a the first round this is scheduled for Matsayo and looking at his debut with Freddie Roach as he by split decision a median of 25 for a 60 just 9 of 31 for a 29 neck percentage so Maxayo has nearly doubled and he is far more active that was in Los Angeles after getting put on the can there's that left hook back just boom short short boom right on actor it was very quick He's does Mark Maxayo way upon who veteran who Couple of hooks by Seha. Seha looking to drive Maxayo. This is a good uh, litmus test for be the biggest name that Maxayo to his dossier. Point of the second. Left hook as Maxayo unloading that double left hook to the bottom. Very quick is Maxayo. 
since Danny last won a fight. He last captured a W back 2017. Julio Seham urging him to go throw the right hand. Sayo spins around one a fight. Mark Sayo on the opposite side just win. Uh, is urging him up. Cuerpo means body. There's a left hook. A hook to the body. Osehai is what has had some losses. Affects the power of Seham. And he's throwing. Keep Julio Seha at bay. There's a lean up the pace. But he realizes that the fact that he hasn't won in nearly four years. And now Maxayo opens up. Left hook. Not through the fourth round. Maxayo, 73 of 261 for a 27% connect. Landed. And now Seha continues. Is going to be a grueling matchup, followed by an overhand right from Seham. But back comes Maxayo. Maxayo, and he is not allowing Maxayo to. There is a belief. Opportunity, but first, 80 seconds remaining here in the fifth. Approaching 65 seconds here in the fifth. Years in the Philippines, he reminds rated contender. And the one item that Pacquiao said, reality. Well, right now, Maxayum has... There's blood on the back of Julio Seas, so I would gather that's probably from Maxayum. What do I have to do to keep this guy at 20-plus seconds of the round? Couple of left hooks to the body. And oh, down goes Maxayum! And Seah might have hurt Maxaya. Maxaya might be hurt. He went retreating backwards and now he's bending down. That body shot might have hurt. We are nearing the final. He gets close and bang. That left Maxaya. You've got to be able to just keep yourself at bay as screen. And sending big shots to the body of Maxaya. Maxaya sitting down in his. And ripping the body. Of Maxayo Bang, that he'd be able to handle this as he's dealing with a very difficult 257 for a 36% connect percentage. I think if you punches a left hook, countering, they both are exchanging at close distance. As I pointed out, when you get five, is no exception of say, and now I believe there is a cut on the point of the sixth round. And physically beat up Maxayo. What you are made out of, and Maxayo momentarily. Body shots in the that stopped him in his tracks and Seha pressing Maxayo too because when you have your back on the ropes you leap Couple of right uppercuts by Maxayo There's that left and it's that left bang right there. Use your jab followed by the one two the jab all ended through the sixth round Maxayo 112 of 397 A right to the body by Seha that hurt Maxayo If you're Maxayo on the jab, follow it with the right, the gap. Seha, now I like the head movement as well of Seha. That's how crafty he is. 100 seconds left here in the morning. When, how do you get your championship medal? He's moving, using his angles from side to side to not allow Maxayo to have an easy target. A baseball bat hitting a pumpkin for Mark Maxayo. That we have witnessed. Big right hand by Maxayo. Now he's got Seha hurt. Left hook for Maxayo to the body of Seha by Gary Russell. Compared to just for Seha. But Seha comes back here in the seventh. Left seven years. So, clearly, use your youth and your speed to your advantage, yeah. Maxayo. Nello Alvarez in November cannot be despair. He's using every bit to try to defend forward and make him expend energy. You're saying, how, though, the fact he fights 15,000 in attendance here at T Mobile Arena. The Maxayo boxing up and finding a way to attack the body. Go. It's an odd change of positions and now a 425 for a third miss for Maxayo. Now he comes right back to Seha and now he's on Dave. Julio Seha will become the number one contender, become a world champion. Now they are. And Seha just sitting down of Maxayo. With the middle. And 
for the power punches landed on there's a right hand counter enough power to Keha quickly recovers after eating the big shot third of the fight loading he might have Seha hurt and now say Xion it's been there since about the third round big right hand down goes Seha and Mark Maxayo has Sa kalagitnaan ng round 10 ay isang solidong right straight ang tumama sa mukha ni Julio Seha na siya namang naging dahilan ng pagbagsak nito. At sa tindi nga ng lakas ng pagkakatama ay makikitang nayanig ng gusto ang Meksikano na halos ilang minuto rin bago ito yung makabangon. Pero hahanga ka rin sa lakas at tapang nitong si Julio Seha dahil kayang kaya nitong makipagsabayan sa lakas at tibay ni Mark Magsayo. Idagdag pa dyan ang isang knockout ng ating pambato na muntikan nitong ikatalo sa laban patunay lamang na mayroon ding ibubuga ang Meksikanong ito sa kabila ng dalawang taon itong pagkapahinga sa pagbaboxing buti na lamang at nakaisip ng magandang taktika sila magsayo at muling nakarecover sa mga sumunod na round at naipanalo pa ang laban by a technical knockout